So that's actually what I'm applying, the water-based one. Excellent. Got some colour going on. Very light grey. Very subtle. Now I know what you're thinking, being an exterior paint you would only use it outside but this is also ideal for interior work. So we just take a look down here, there we go. So we have no problem with using it inside but this colour's too light so we need to get another one mixed and I think this time instead of going for the satin we're going to go for the matte so you can see the side which I've not worked on yet and the colour is on the underneath edges you can see so you can see the beam there coated up on this side but it's just not dark enough so that's what's going I'm going to go for this one a little bit deeper that's the same colour up there so that should look okay a bit stronger so wait for the paint and then we'll get some on and see how it's looking so although this is a satin paint you can see the sheen when you look along the edge so there's a first sheen to the satin this grey that's on here that is the colour is not the actual paint that's a sample of matte emulsion but again you can see the sheen level in it so this zinser all coat matte the exterior will have a certain sheen level so it'll be just interesting to see how much I'm getting to know these beams a bit now so they've all had two coats of the zinser BIN and a coat of well after filling and sealing it all they've had a coat of the zinser bullseye the 123 so that's what's on the beam over there and then this side on top of all that has had two coats of the old coat the satin and it's now about to get two coats of water-based exterior matte the Zinsa Wowzer getting some on now get some color on you can see the difference there so up there I've already done you can see so again it's 
still quite light and this was a mix so you can see the uh, Dulux there the 7035 that's the mix the RAL mix and this is the mix with the Zinsa so it's not quite there and sheen level so we're just looking underneath the beam here and you can see just the transition there so it has got quite a low sheen level see there anyway it's getting painted and the beauty with this is no sanding which I really am glad of day three and you can see where I've worked up to there now if you remember this color again on this side you can see the Dulux and just underneath is the Zinsa and running just along that edge there is the Zinsa again so the little bit in between is that the Dulux 7035 and the tint is wrong so again the paint has gone back to be retinted and this time they've got to get it right we're getting some color on now this is the new color here this was the first original one running through to the second one there and there you can see what we're on with 